Hello all you people, Curb Stumper back here with another video, and I am here with Friday Night Superstars, and in our following contest, we have the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller, Chris Jericho, going up against a mystery opponent. This is a um, Intercontinental Championship qualifier match. As we know, Kalisto qualified last week, beating Neville. So he will be inserted into the triple threat at Fastlane. So it will be Kalisto, or maybe even this man, Chris Jericho, in that match. So it's Kalisto in the match so far. Can Chris Jericho make it against his mystery opponent? Jericho looking better than ever and ready to go for his matchup next. Let's see who his opponent is. Now, Jericho awaiting his opponent. And the lights have gone out. And there is the creepy eyes. Well, looking for a title from the Wyatt family, Luke Harper. Haven't seen this man in a long, long time. The last time we saw Luke Harper, he was facing Finn Balor on one of our Friday Night Superstars shows. Well, Luke Harper looking to regain, just regain being relevant. And wants to get back into the title picture tonight. We'll have to see if he can get the job done. Harper versus Jericho. Intercontinental spot in that triple threat match at Fastlane. On the line. Let's get this match underway. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Jericho, you see there, and Luke Harper. Not even phased. Luke Harper, a man beast, basically. Surprise, these two men are tying up, and look at Jericho able to back Harper over to the corner, showing his strength. Referee going to have to break it up, separating these men. And oh! Oh, there's the heel side of Jericho, having a little bit of fun, punching Harper right in the face after forcing him into the corner. Now Harper in control, going behind now, just ragdolling Jericho, just throwing him. And oh! Drops him down right on his gut there, now he's got a side headlock. But Jericho back up to his feet with a side headlock on Harper. Now he's wrenching on it now. Now once again, just wrenching on it. And again, Jericho in control. And he just keeps wrenching on it. Now Jericho with a side headlock takedown on Harper. And oh, a big right hand right to the face of Harper. And now Jericho's got Harper. Throws him into the corner. Now Jericho got Harper up for Snake Eyes dropping him right on that turnbuckle. I don't think we've seen Jericho here on Friday Night Superstars any. I think this is this. Oh, actually, no. We saw him. The last time we saw him was Survivor Series when he was on Team Owens with Bret Hart. Him, him and Kevin Owens were, were the sole survivors for that team. And now Jericho looking to return for, for, for a title. As we all know, Kevin Owens... Going to be facing the man that runs the place, John Cena and the Eater of the Worlds, Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania in a triple threat match for that WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And oh, a takedown from Jericho there. Now, looking for a submission. I think Luke Harper's foot might have been under the rope there. And just to recap, if any of you people have forgotten, AJ Styles leaving Team 100 last week and Samoa Joe debuting. And picking a huge win up over AJ Styles. AJ Styles saying after he realized what Team 100 really meant for. Betraying his fans. Turning his back on them. He realized he doesn't want to be a t part of Team 100 anymore. Now Guns and Infamous are actually here tonight. There's going to be an interviewer. Going to be interviewing them later tonight. So we'll have to see how... Um, Guns and Infamous respond to AJ just leaving Team 100. Now I want I don't want to be a biased commentator, but I think that was a good move by AJ, realizing what he really wanted to stand for, being phenomenal, representing the WWE universe, not sacrificing yourself for two people. And. Those two people being Guns and Infamous. Now Chris Jericho has got the legs locked up. And now 
Harper able to get out of the hole, or Jericho might have released it. Try to go for another shot. Harper throws Jericho off the ropes and a huge clothesline connecting right there. Now Jericho rolling out of the way very quickly just to gain control. Jericho might have used a lot of energy to do that, but he was able to get on the offense, but it doesn't work to his favor. And now Luke Harper sending Jericho flying over the top rope. Now Harper going to the outside looking to do some damage. Now picks up Chris Jericho. Now, oh, tosses him right into the steel steps, and Harper tripping over something there. Possibly going for a clothesline. Might have thought Jericho was going to stay up, but he didn't. And now they're just tossing Jericho by his neck, almost into the barricade. Oh, Harper not capitalizing, kind of hesitating there, just standing there. And Jericho able to fight back with a couple of sh shots and some chops. Now, Harper throwing Jericho into the corner. Uh-oh. Putting him on the top rope. Yes, he is. He's got Jericho up there. What can he be going for? No. Jericho versus with an elbow. Oh, and a huge crossbody. Now, Jericho going high risk once again. Will this work in his favor? Oh, but Harper getting back to his feet. Jericho realizing he was getting back to his feet. And jump down. Now, Harper with a snapmare takedown. And now, wrenching the head with a headlock. These two men going back and forth. Now Harper returning the favor from earlier. Wrenching on that headlock. Now Jericho looking to fight back. Huge elbow. And another one. Right to the gut of Luke Harper. Jericho looking for something there. But he got caught with a huge sit out powerbomb from Luke Harper. Luke Harper showing his strength now into the cover. One. Two. Oh, Jericho able to kick out. Now. Now, once again. Harper just tossing Jericho, showing his strength here tonight. Uh-oh, looking for a back suplex. Oh, no, turns it into a face buster. Jericho's face looked like it might have caught some of the rope on the way down. Even dealing even more damage with that vicious move now. The cover on Jericho. Two. And once again, Jericho able to power out at two. Now Jericho back to his feet. But Harper catches him once again. And he picks him up and drops him for a side slam. But Harper, showing the effects of this match. Can't keep going. He's laid out after that side slam on Jericho. Not able to recover fully. But he does get back to Jericho in time. But no, Jericho reverses. Oh, Jericho turns over Harper, and I know what he's going for here. Off the ropes, the lion salt, into the cover. One, two, and oh, Luke Harper able to kick out. Beautiful lion salt from Jericho. Now, just kicking Harper, waiting for him to get back to his feet. Huge shot. Oh, got Harper from behind. Looking for a back suplex, and he connects with it. And now, flipping Harper over. Now dragging him towards the middle of the ring. What could Jericho be going for? Setting Harper up for a huge knee right to the side of the head. Jericho picking up Harper now. In control. What could he be going for? Throws Harper into the corner. Now try to go for something, but Harper reverses with an elbow. But here comes Jericho for... Oh, looking for a power slam. Reversal. DDT from Luke Harper. What a back and forth matchup we are having right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Luke Harper calling for something. Jericho, don't get back to your feet. He was into the gut. And we know what's coming. Discus clothesline from Luke Harper. Dragging him away from the ropes. Going for the cover. Yes, he is. One. Two. Can Jericho kick out? Yes, he can. Barely getting one leg up there. Able to kick out that vicious discus, discus clothesline. Excuse me. Couldn't even say it. That's how vicious it was. Now looking to go after the leg of Jericho now. Can't jump for that code breaker. Can't get enough height. Luke Harper is taller than Chris Jericho. So Chris Jericho can't use that leg to jump. He, he's done with. And Jericho reversing with a huge elbow there. And oh, 
not able to get what he was going for. Luke Harper throws him in the corner. But Jericho reverses. Now he has Harper in the corner. And now a huge forearm. And Jericho off the ropes into a bulldog. Stopping Harper in his tracks. Jericho taking some time to breathe. And now once again going to the top rope. I don't know if this is too smart from Jericho. We saw him try to go to the top earlier. Harper got up. But again, Harper moving out of the way. Smart. Now Jericho looks frustrated. Like, why won't he stay down? But took too much time contemplating about why he won't stay down. Harper now got him in the corner. Going to set him up on the top rope. Luke Harper getting reversed. A huge kick to the gut and a double axe handle from Chris Jericho. Finally connecting. Crowd going wild. Chris Jericho still kind of tired. Kick right to the leg of Harper. Smart strategy, but oh! Huge kick right to the face of Chris Jericho. Now in the cover. The pin. Luke Harper with the cover. This could be it. No, Jericho able to kick out. Which one of these men will advance to the triple threat match of Fastlane? We will find out in just a few minutes. And we are back now. Luke Harper in control and a huge shot right to the side of the head of Jericho. Now wrenching at the neck of Jericho now. Vicious from maneuvers from Luke Harper. Oh, a little, a little bit of a sneeze there, and once again Harper going for that back of suplex into a face buster combination. Flip some over, feather pin. Ref get down. One, two, and no. Oh. Jericho still able to kick out Luke Harper. Shocked as ever, but he's got to finish him off. Can't let Jericho get any offense, and he won't let him. Uh, discus clothesline. I was about to say suicide dive, but I realized it wasn't. Discus clothesline from Luke Harper into the pin. The cover, one, a two. And Jericho still able to kick out. Luke Harper still looking shocked as ever. And now Harper picking up Jericho. Now, Snapmare takedown. And now, with the side headlock applied onto Jericho and wrenching at it, choking him out. Once again. But, oh, Jericho getting back to his feet. Elbow and another one right to the gut of Harper. And now a Snapmare takedown of his own. Jericho looking to get back into control and now has a side headlock wrapped around the Neck of Harper, but Harper just getting up from it like it's nothing. Looking to counter with some elbows of his own. Connects right there. Oh, try to go for a huge uppercut. Jericho throws him into the corner. Now he was kicked right to the gut. Sending Harper down to the ground. Now Jericho, she was stomp. Try to go for something again. Luke Harper pushes him away. And oh, a huge drop kick from Jericho. Jericho still taking his time. Taking a short breather right there. Once again, doing it, but Harper back to his feet. I don't know if Jericho realizes it yet, just a stare down. It looked like he was going for something again. Oh, but Jericho counters German suplex. Look at the strength of Jericho. And uh-oh, Jericho sitting up for something. Possibly the code breaker. And Jericho connects with the code breaker. Into the pin. Hook of the leg. Two and three. Jericho qualifies for the triple threat at Fast Lane. So far, it is Kalisto and Chris Jericho. Next week, we will have our final contendership match for that triple threat match at Fast Lane. We have no idea who the participants are in that match, but I'm sure it's going to be one hell of a match regardless of who the competitors are. What a match Harper and Jericho just put on. Nice. Saw that Cobreaker connecting right there. Harper not able to kick out. Jericho surprisingly kicking out of two discus clotheslines. Showing his resiliency. What a veteran Jericho is. Well, as we head on to our interview with Guns. To get his word on what he thinks about AJ Styles taking a stand on his own. And leaving Team 100. Jericho with a huge victory here tonight in his return. 
Well, hello guns, and we just want to get your quick thoughts on AJ Styles taking a stand. Hey, 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 you shut up. You leave. Oh, okay, the camera's yours. AJ Styles. <laughs> silly, silly AJ Styles. You think you can get the best of me? You think you can frustrate me, huh? Well, tonight, I challenge you to a tag team match. Find a partner if you can, Mr. Phenomenal One. And if you can't find one, then I guess that's just why they call you fun the Phenomenal One. Me and Infamous versus you and your mystery partner. Let's see what you got, kid. You want to just leave and abandon us? You, th you think, you really think that Team 100 is a bad place. If you would have stayed here, you would have gained power. And who cares about those fans? They're going to get you killed in this business one day. But like I said, find a partner. If you can, AJ, good luck. Whoa, what a statement from Guns. Just saying, find a partner, kid. If you can, well, we'll have to see if... If AJ Styles can, his gun's coming out now supporting a new attire and a whole new look. Last time we saw this man, he was at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, actually competing in the Elimination Chamber. I heard he suffered a couple of bruises, a couple of very minor, minor injuries, and now he is back in the ring. Teaming up with Infamous tonight. Team 100 looking to go up against AJ Styles and his mystery partner. Oh, we'll just have to see who that is in a few minutes. Now, I feel as if that Infamous could just do so much so much better with his career. He could he could possibly go for the W World Heavyweight Championship or maybe the even the Intercontinental or even the United States Championship. But he decides to join this group. What the hell is wrong with him? He literally decides to join Team 100. Turn his back on the fans and have power. Well, I gotta admit, him and AJ Styles did look pretty impressive at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. When they picked a, up a win over two-thirds of the Shield, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose... But regardless of that, it's time to test Guns' trust in this match. Can Infamous actually even trust Guns? I was, I was, there was a secret interview on FridayNightSuperstar.com. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. Guns was on, was on an interview with one of our interviewers, and he said he felt like it was Infamous's fault that um, AJ Styles decided to leave. Infamous told him all the details about being a, a member of Team 100. So there could be some tension between these two men. And now AJ Styles looking to make his way down to the ring. We're going to have to see who his mystery partner is going to be. AJ Styles here tonight. We saw him last week unfortunately lose to Samoa Joe. But that was very friendly competition. But regardless, AJ Styles here tonight. Let's see who his mystery partner is right now. Everybody awaiting. Being very patient. Who's it gonna? Whoa! It looks like it's gonna be Finn Balor. Former leader of the Bullet Club, AJ Styles, coming from New Japan. He was the former leader of the Bullet Club as well. Please do ignore the NXT Championship. That does not mean anything. Apparently, Finn just wants to carry it around to show that he is still relevant as champion. But regardless, Finn Balor. See there on the shirt and on the back of his jacket, Balor Club. Could that this be a new formation of the Bullet Club just renamed? We'll have to see 
as things develop in the future. But regardless, Finn Balor, AJ Styles' partner. Well, this should be a good match. Finn Balor and AJ Styles, former New Japan buddies, former leaders of the Bullet Club. This is a dream tag team right here, folks. Let's get this match underway. Balor, Styles, and Infamous and Guns. Let's do it. And here we go. Match looking to get underway now. Now, referee ringing the bell. And this match has started. Of course, Infamous on the outside. Balor on the outside. AJ Styles and the leader of T100 going to settle this in the ring. And AJ Styles going after the leg of guns now. Hopefully this match is not too long. Not going after the leg of guns. Looking to slow him down. Can't get any offense possibly. If slows that leg movement down. And I think that was a wreck to the eyes by AJ Styles. I think Team 100 might have taught him some dirty tricks while he was there. And now Styles going after the arm. Going after the, all the limbs of guns. Guns may be a little rusty. Last time we saw him. He w it was at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. He did put up a good fight, but unfortunately, he got eliminated. But he is back here tonight, regardless of that loss. Looking to teach AJ Styles a lesson. And now got him now and dropping him down. His arm right over his face like a arm-grabbing neck breaker there. Now, these two minutes going out on the outside. Five count from the referee. Styles back in the ring, following guns. And now, just got guns on the ropes. Our ship off the ropes. Off the ropes goes guns. Comes back into an arm drag by Styles. And uh oh. Oh, I thought Styles was going for the tag to Finn. But instead, a moon salt. Taking a page out of Guns' book there. We all know Guns loves to use those moon salts. And now, Styles with a huge backbreaker. Now, Styles going to the outside. Springboard into the ring, and that's a huge springboard 450 splash. AJ Styles showing some great offense, but Guns, huge jawbreaker. And oh, got Styles up and drops him with a Michinoku driver. Now, I think Guns has had enough tagging in. Infamous, infamous in the ring now. Oh, a huge slap right to the face of Styles, the disrespect. I think Guns and Infamous might just want to injure Styles. They don't even care about winning this match. They just want to teach him a lesson. Well, this match could be scouted out by Friday Night Superstar Management. One of these men might possibly get a future title shot. And oh, Infamous going for something but got caught with a DDT. And now Finn Balor is in this match. Finn Balor going after Infamous. Last time we saw Finn Balor. He was taken on the Wyatts with Cesaro, but unfortunately lost in the match. But Balor, huge return here tonight, looking to pick up dominance once again. Uh-oh. Infamous! Dirty maneuver from Infamous. Headbutt right to the groin. Referee not saying anything about it. Go for a spine buster reversal. DDT from Finn Balor. Using dirty tactics, they might have paid off the referee here tonight. Referee not doing anything about it, surprisingly. But that's just the way it goes here on Friday Night Superstars. When you get low blowed, no one says anything about it. But regardless of that, infamous now just raining down shots on Finn Balor. And now we're going to pick him up. Infamous going for a kick possibly there. But Finn catches him with a Northern Lights suplex. And I'll look going for something there. But oh, infamous trips him. Takedown from Infamous. Now Infamous picking up Balor. And oh, once again, stealing a page out of Guns, but kick to the back. And oh, huge leg drop DDT there from Infamous. The cover now to, and oh, Finn Balor able to kick out. And oh, looked like Infamous was going for something there. He had a whole front flip laying in the corner of Styles and Balor. Valor looking for a suplex, possibly their infamous fighting out. But oh, here comes Finn. He's got him on his shoulders and drops him. Look like in like a GTS, but with his foot 
connecting perfectly right there. And now going after the leg infamous. Smart tactics from Finn Balor. Now Finn once again got him on his shoulders and drills him. Huge knees right to the gut of Infamous. Now Infamous looking for the tag on AJ Styles. Now AJ back into this matchup. Going after Infamous now. These two men war in the tag team match at Elimination Chamber. Worked perfectly together. But now they are enemies. We could have saw that tag team go to great heights. But AJ Styles making his decision and leaving Team 100. Looking for that neck breaker again. But Styles huge kick right to the gut. Now throws him into the corner. And Guns now pumbling to the ground. Guns looks very rusty in ring here tonight. And now Finn Balor, think, I think he wants a piece of Guns. First time these two men have ever encountered each other. And uh oh, Finn got Guns in the corner. Shown off to the crowd. Huge running drop kick. Sending Guns flying back into the corner. His neck whipping back. Now looking for something, but Guns just pushes him away. Uh-oh. What, what could Finn be going for? Nothing. Guns, huge kick right to the leg. Oh, looking for something there. Huge elbows from Balor. And oh, goes right back to him with another spitting side slam. He hit one on the outside on AJ Styles. Now just taunting to get Finn back to his feet. And oh, a huge clothesline. And another one. Now Finn, back to his feet. Oh, ducks the close on that. Now you're a super kick from Guns. Showing he still got it in the ring. Now Guns just looking down at Finn Balor. And now finally decides to pick him up. Just weird from these men. And oh, ducks the clothesline. Another clothesline and a huge DDT. Planting Finn Balor. And uh-oh, Guns are going to the top rope. We know this man is dangerous. Up top. And oh, a huge diving corkscrew moonsault into the pin. The cover. And oh, Infamous going after AJ Styles, sending him outside the ring. Balor just able to kick out. We know Balor isn't the best in tag team matches because him and Cesaro do not work well. But uh-oh, Guns now power bomb on to Finn Balor. Now looking for a choke bomb. He's got him by the throat. And now drills him down. And Infamous and AJ Styles going at it on the outside. Infamous throwing AJ Styles into the ring post. And uh oh. Guns looking for a suplex. No, he counters it. Oh! Into a rock bottom like maneuver. Now the pin. And two. And oh! Finn Balor just able to kick out. I think AJ Styles might have stomped on Finn accidentally. Guns in shock. Cannot believe it. Now here comes Finn Balor. Up on the shoulders. And he drops him right on his knees. Finn Balor back in this match. AJ Styles almost able to break up the pin. But Finn Balor showing his resiliency and able to kick out. Surprising. The Demon isn't here with us tonight at Friday Night Superstars. Oh, he's still inside of the heart of Finn Balor. And a huge Michinoku driver into the cover. But Infamous unfortunately able to break it up. And now AJ Styles returning the favor. Sending Infamous flying over the top rope. And uh oh. Here comes Balor. He's got guns up for a huge sit out power bomb. No leverage though into the cover. He wants to deal more damage. But guns. Oh a huge knee right to the face. Infamous trying to get in the ring. And Infamous accidentally distracting a referee. And AJ Styles is able to get in. Accidentally knocking down the referee and breaking up the pin. There's some animosity between Guns and Infamous. I don't think Infamous meant to distract the referee. But Guns had a cover on Finn, clearly. And, but Infamous just, just had to get in the ring. Oh. Just feeling starting to swirl between Team 100 members. And now... Infamous calling for the tag guns, giving it to him. And oh, huge shot right to the back. And oh, oh, what's oh? I thought he was going for another headbutt to the groin, but Inf Infamous just embarrassing Finn Balor, just swinging him and swinging him. Look at the strength of Infamous, and he just drops him right there. 
Now dragging him away from the corner of Styles. Not really. They're still in the corner. Now the cover one, but Styles is there to break it up. Guns in the ring looking. I thought he was going for AJ Styles there, but decided to get out the ring. Infamous able to connect with that move. Possibly going out for a springboard. But Balor getting back to his feet earlier than he expected. And now Infamous rolling Finn over. Now dragging him. Now flips him over. Now just slamming the head of Finn Balor down. Could possibly have a concussion after this match. And now picking Finn back up to his feet. Throwing him into the corner. Now, got him on the top row. What could it be going for? A superplex, possibly? No. Finn reverses. Oh, he jerking around a takedown. Finn Balor showing his athleticism. And now tags in Styles. But, oh, Balor to the second rope. I don't think he meant to go there. And now Styles off the ropes. And oh, a huge sling blade. Sending a message to Finn Balor. Which, who is standing on the outside of the ring. In Styles' corner. Now the cover on Styles. Styles just able to kick out. And a huge kick right to the back of Styles. Styles and Balor not looking too good right now. Infamous in control. Now working over the armor, AJ. Now picks him up. But not able to capitalize. Hesitating right there. And now Styles takes him down. And looking to work on the leg of Infamous. Both these men going after the limbs. Infamous has learned a lot from AJ Styles. They were a tag team. They had great chemistry as a tag team. And um, they learned each other's tricks. Infamous going after the legs. Styles going after the legs. You can see similar. Now Infamous here with a bulldog. Onto AJ Styles. Now onto the cover. One, two, and oh, AJ Styles able to kick out just barely off of that vicious bulldog. And once again, connect with that running neck twist. Now tagging in guns. Guns back into the match. AJ Styles may need to get the tag to Balor, even though Balor just basically did just tag in the Styles. Styles not looking too good. And oh, guns taking Styles down right on top of his knee. Now Guns picks up Styles, and look, look, look at this maneuver. He calls it the Bangarang, just spinning Styles around and drilling him face first. Now with the pin, and oh, did did, did Infamous break up the 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 cover there? He had a two-headed bulldog on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Another spinning side slam. Well, Infamous hitting a bulldog looked like he might have broke up the pin. But Balor down, Infamous hitting a gator roll on him, and now Styles back up to his feet, looking for that suplex rock bottom combination, and he nails it into the cover. But Finn's in the ring to break it up. Referee, look, he was about to count out Finn Balor, or count in, shall I say. Now Styles, huge right hand, oh, what a huge Pele, taking a, taking a page out of Finn Balor's book. Now, into the cover, two, and three. It looks like the Balor Club or the Bullet Club, not too not too sure which one it is. But regardless, that huge Pele kick picked up the victory for team I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna call them the club. The club, okay? I'm just gonna call them the club. Infamous several times accidentally breaking up pins and distracting on a referee. I don't know if Team One Hundred can last very long. WrestleMania Right around the corner. Our next pay-per-view is Fastlane, but WrestleMania is soon to come right after that. Guns hitting that beautiful corkscrew moonsault. What a match from these two men. That huge Pele ended it all. Well, I hope you all liked and subscribed. Catch you in the next video, Curb Stomper. Stomping out. See you guys. Styles and Battle are able to pick up the victory here tonight.